that's embarrassing. Yep. Okay. Now we are live with some actual CMKL stuff. About to have CMKL stuff. Just waiting on the stream from Isaiah. And we're going to have a match between Morgan State and McDaniel. Super excited for that. Honestly, one of, like I mentioned before in the stream, one of the premier matches, I think, of Week 2. So, really, it's going to be an exciting stuff here. Getting to cast that. Also, my first time casting Mario Kart. I'm a Splatoon commentator by trade. Got my start off with Smash 2, so... Really excited for this, though. Hoping we're in for an amazing match. I'm just going to be currently just waiting on the stream from Isaiah. And then we'll, we'll get right into it, then. If I knew, if I understood Twitch, I would have, like, the prediction stuff and all that, too. But, like, this is such a last-second scuff thing that I really don't see a point in it. So, shout-out to the people watching so far. Phantom, um, you know, the Sluggers OST. I used to speedrun Sluggers um, back in, like, high school. So, has this little soft, soft, nice little, nice place to my heart. So, I'm really excited. I was really happy that someone recognized it. I was like, it was going to be one of my stream songs for a while. So really excited now that we actually get a chance to do this. Yeah, just waiting on the thing from the Morgan State. Because we're going to have a Morgan State POV. I don't have anything from McDaniel. And even if I did, I don't understand all the transition stuff. So I'm not even going to bother. But yeah, sadly, we are only going to be having um one match today on my stream. Because as you can see over on... The left side, we have Morgan State McDaniel, which is the Division 2 matchup. And then on the CMKL stream, we're going to be having Texas Unified versus Ontario United, a primetime Division 1 matchup, one of the matches to watch for. Originally, we we're going to have Iona Huskers at 9 o'clock Eastern, but, but because the D1 match got moved up, we had to go without it, sadly. But either way, we, we're still in for two really good Mario Kart matches. And then once the streams get going, I'm really excited to start casting. Yep. Yeah. yeah, just waiting on Isaiah then to start his stream. And then we'll get right into it. You could stream at a later date if that's fine. I could, yeah. I, it's For me, mostly, is I don't really have time. Like, sometimes it's hard enough as is trying to find time to stream. So, like, I wasn't even planning on streaming today once, let alone here I am again now. So, it's mostly it's mostly just that. It's a lot of scuff stuff. And I'm going to quick check a couple things. From what I remember, um, on most Mario Kart War streams, you will see a thing called Toadbot. Or the Toadbot, which tracks scores for you. You just enter the placements, and it does all that for you. And it like says, how much are you up by? How many points did you win that race? It's really a useful tool. I recommend every team have at least one person who knows how to use Toadbot. It's a super simple and straightforward thing that you can add to almost all of your Discord servers. So I recommend doing that. I think it's in the CMKL server. It's also in MK University, so it's easy access. And if you don't have it, we can always just send it to you. The main thing, though, is that the bot is dead, so I'm going to be... I have a really scuffed... Um, I have my I have two computers with me right now. One to, like, check the... One to check Twitch, and the other one will be for figuring out the scoring and all that. So I have to update all the scores manually, which isn't exactly ideal, but we'll get into it soon. So, yeah, just once again, just waiting on the room to be open and stuff like that. Don't really know if they're opening at 05. I know Mc Morgan State is hosting, if I'm correct. Yeah, Morgan State will be hosting through Isaiah. Isaiah will be playing by him. Will be playing. I don't remember the exact lineup, but he's playing on his own screen. Um, last week, he played um, split screen a couple times, so... Not ideal, usually, as someone who's played MKU with a split screen at one point. Not the best feeling in the world, but hey, we'll take it, we'll take it. I think... Okay, we. I think Isaiah has started his stream now, so that's exciting. Gonna quick send it over there. And now you get to see a bunch of the frame drops and slow frames that's about to happen because my computer cannot be handling this right now, and it absolutely hates everything I'm doing. But, yeah, we're going to work with it anyway. Hope to God that it actually lives. 
and doesn't like hate this completely. So, shout out to this computer for doubling as a work computer and school computer, also doubling as my like as my stream setup. But yeah, okay. So, going into these two teams, going to see like what we have here. Uh, Morgan State is currently zero one and one on the season, winning. They were they would have had a win against Moravian, but they were caught up on a penalty. And then Moravian and Morgan State agreed to a tie, resulting in that. And then Morgan State also lost to Virginia Tech. McDaniel, on the other hand, is currently 0-2, losing the House Divided and losing to Alabama. So both these teams are really trying to get their first win here. And I think the storyline's going, it's first of all, it's the Battle of Maryland, I guess. You have two teams from the same school, no, two teams from the same state. Considering that they could have merged together for this season alone, that could have been, we could have seen a really strong Maryland group, honestly. But Morgan State, really staking tried and true to the team they have. Really excited to see what they got there. Yeah, I think it looks like we're going to be opening 05, so that was good. McDaniel, it's a very strong roster and deep roster in Division 2 as well. So you have um, Sandbert, Shamchez, Kobolon, Top 4 Boss, otherwise known as Zim. Really, there's a lot of good depth in that team, top to bottom. It's a shame they haven't won yet a match, but they're going to have at least one win this season. One win this week, actually, because it looks like Moravian will probably be forfeiting against McDaniel this week, so bit rough but we'll try and make we'll try and update as those happen I know Isaiah is not hosting but it's a Morgan State host so that'll be fun I know Morgan State has a few interesting runners up their sleeves from what I've noticed in their match against Moravian as Moravian's coach I got to watch that in person so that was really fun and I don't know exactly what we're going to be getting through with Morgan State, I know they're a team that really likes um, Bowser's Castle, which is not exactly the most common runner you see anymore, but I like they like to use it as kind of a runner, kind of a high spot drafter almost, like an anti one. So I would be interested to see what they bring out here. As for McDaniel, I don't know exactly what courses they're going with either. Uh, I remember playing at Road Rage 5 last April, and I noticed some of Sandbird's picks, but I don't know how. It, that really translates to some of the things you will see in um, a 6v6 format. As we see, Sandbird is online now, meaning that McDaniel and Morgan State are about to get started soon. I'm assuming we're opening at 05, and I guess that's the queue, yeah. So we're going to be starting connecting now. I know Morgan State is hosting. I forget who it is. I want to say it's... Club. It's Club, yeah. Shout out Technical there. Not... <laughs> Shout out to Kutztown. Pennsylvania representatives, let's go. Now, I know Morgan State likes to um, coordinate both character or color. So, they might be all be Daisy this time. Sometimes it's like, it's not always clear what they're going with, but we'll see what they do. I don't know exactly where what Morgan State's Mies are. Maybe they're all top five. Maybe they're top six right now. I recognize a couple of these from when they played Moravian. I forget which one's Isaiah as well, so that doesn't help. As always, if you're in chat, feel free to let me know if the audio is okay. Both with the game and with my commentary, quote-unquote. But yeah, if this is all Morgan State, wow. Starting off on a potential top six, that opens up the, a lot of opportunities for like really good runners. You can see like Wario Stadium early on. Sunshine Airport, I know it's a really common runner with Morgan State. You can see that be coming out early. Things like Cloud Top Cruise. Or if you're going to go more DLC-centric, you can go Sky High Sunday, I guess. Really, there's a lot of runners you can have here that could all be really good. As for uh, McDaniel, assuming that they are bottom six... Assuming McDaniel is bottom six... There's, we're probably going to be seeing some type of either reset or a low spot drafter. Uh, you could see like Trainbow as the way to draft up early. You could see um, Cheese Land, Peach Gardens, Mario Circuit 3 if you feel like bagging. Really hard to tell right away, but we'll be interested to see. Uh, 
I'm just hoping that McDaniel was nice and or that Morgan State was nice and made things easy for both teams actually. And like everyone has their friend codes added and all that. Otherwise that'd be a pain. Still waiting on six more from them and we'll see what's happening. Yeah. No one yet. And obviously you have 10 minutes when room opens to get in the lobby until it's a penalty. And then at 15 minutes, it's a forfeit if they don't have five. I have no idea where the McDaniel group is, assuming it's McDaniel we're waiting on. Because obviously, um, being top six in the start is not ideal, but you've seen teams work with it before. Maybe you see some crazy um, runners instead from the in the Morgan State. Um, like, potentially... Maybe they'll pull something crazy out. We'll see. Okay, so I just got confirmation from Isaiah. Morgan State is top six right now. So, yeah, and all waiting on McDaniel. So we could see some, like, good runners from them. Get a shout-out club, giving them their best shot. But yeah, I'm, it's really just a case of, like, which runner is Morgan State going to pull here and go for. You have There's a lot of good potential ones here. And it doesn't help that McDaniel isn't in yet, so... Hopefully we get started soon, all that, because I know there's prime time as well at um, the next hour that I have to be part of, so shout outs to the Steam KO staff. We got Texas United against Ontario, no, Texas Unified versus Ontario United coming up for you on the CMKL stream, so make sure you stick around for that, or we'll have you raid over there and get be right in touch. aside i'm morgan state really interested to see, i've i'm told them that i'm not allowed to have your comms on just mostly to make things easier on my end but i'm interested to know what their comms are like right now just having the idea of like you're one well, you're getting ice out oh well there they come so mcdaniel's finally starting to make it in i want to say that's top four boss i actually don't remember i'm pretty sure that's not saying it's me at least though but yeah finally starting to make their way in that's really that's real good Yo, Punk also watching? Let's go. Okay, I know Sam Burt's me is the one in orange. One of the better players on the team. Like, I know McDaniel's got a got a good group. So, interested to see what they bring here, player-wise. And, like, the thing with McDaniel is, no matter which six players they bring, a lot of their players are going to be, like, relatively similar in skill level. So, it's more so the case of, like, which players are just playing well that day. So you'll know you know what you're getting with McDaniel almost time in time out. There's four of them in, so we're ten in the lobby. Just waiting on two more, and then we'll finally be getting started. Expect to see some type of runner from Morgan State in the MSU, and then McDaniel Green Terror. We're gonna probably see some either reset or maybe just a hard, or just maybe pull for Trainbow immediately here. There's the controller being disconnected. That's great. Shout out to not having a fully charged controller, but I understand that completely most of the time, if I'm being honest. Toadbot is still dead. Fine. Two, three, four, five, six, eight. Okay, we're at 11 right now. We're waiting on one more for McDaniel Green Terror. I don't know who who, who is who on McDaniel, so this will be fun. Is McDaniel streaming right now? Because I know Sambert sometimes streams for McDaniel Green Terror. Quick check. I think it's like Mc Green Terror Esports. It is Green Terror. I'm pretty sure it is Mc Green Terror Esports, but it doesn't look like they're streaming. So that's okay. Yeah. 
Okay, if it's if we hit the 15 minute mark, we will have to start right away then. So un we would hope that doesn't end up being the case because otherwise McDaniel's at a 5v6, which is not anywhere close to ideal. I have seen it happen before where 5v6 does result in a win somehow. I think that actually happened in one of the matches this season already. But you don't, obviously don't want to see that. You want to see both teams rep at a full 6v6. You don't want to leave it up to like bot shocks or anything like that, which would be absolutely saddening. Oh, that looks like that should be 12 now. 4, 8, 12. Yeah, okay, we're at 12 now. Should be starting any second now. I think. Maybe not. <laughs> we were at 12 for a little bit. Someone dips. We hate to see stuff like that, though. I just... Maybe just turn my switch on, join McDaniel, play for them. We'll see. Otherwise, in two minutes, you gotta start. Because you do have five from the end of McDaniel. That's rough, though. Wondering what's like... Ooh, okay, I gave a message request. Okay, we're at one minute to go then until it looks like we got to start i'm gonna check to see if in division nothing's being said in division two so there might be stuff in dms between sam bird and isaiah four eight okay now we're down to ten Okay, that's a new one. Normally by now we at least have like 11. That's unfortunate. I don't want to see penalties come out immediately from either team. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, okay. McDaniel, I know, is a team that has that often play split screen. Now that I remember, think about it. So they have a lot of people in the same room playing on like a TV, and then they'll have to have two players on one TV. So now. Now that I realize that, I think that makes a lot more sense. So we have 12 now. It looks like the room is about to start. And then it's just finally getting into the races and seeing what we got here. I know Morgan State typically likes to synergize their character or their Yoshi color, Berta color. So we'll get a chance to see if it make it things easy for us, at least. <laughs> Which runner is Morgan State going to pick here? Knowing that they're top six... Yep, Sunshine Airport. Oh, what the heck? Okay, so Sunshine Airport makes a lot of sense from the end of Morgan State. One of the stronger runners in the game, and especially for teams that are new, relatively new to the scene, I love Sunshine as like a beginner runner. There's not a crazy amount of tech you need to have for it. Is you just know you're how to like take your lines and like stuff like that. It's relatively simple and straightforward. There's access for double boxes throughout the course as well. But like it's a really comfortable runner in top six. As for McDaniel, going DKJ is a shock because you don't really see DKJ as a drafter in the sense anymore. And having um Morgan State, this is this actually benefits Morgan State. We're gonna start off with DKJ though. Isaiah starting off, and you see, okay, the, all the daisies I assume are Morgan State. We might take a look behind, but right now it's a definite top five for um Morgan State right here. Yeah, it looks like all the daisies are going to be Morgan State, and just gonna see what kind of boxes we're gonna be opening up with right here. Isaiah opting for the right side, not gonna be able, not gonna take super bounce here, but you don't really need to at this point because you're still tops. It looks like Isaiah's going to have a free chance to run here. It looks back and looks trying to leave the double. Okay, doesn't leave double for his teammate, but that's okay right there. Because he's got a free run here. He's probably going to start cycling for a horn at some point once the 30 seconds kick in. And really just trying to build that coin count up. You see all the daisies just on screen on the map. And that's, that's exactly what you want to see if you are Morgan State. Be able to protect your tops, and there's a good. Because you know they're at least top two right now, and what a pull. Already pulling the horn, and we're not even through lap one. You see in the back that some of the daisies are getting hit out for Morgan State, but right now, if they're able to just keep this top two, keep this horn in case for a blue shell, though, they're set. Once again, not opting for super bounce here. That's a good thing to keep in mind, though, if you're another team. So, 
Isaiah doing really well here, going to be able to grab these 10 coins as well. And this is basically why DKJ is such a good course for running. There's not a ton of shortcuts here aside from like that one grass cut right by the glider. So really, you're able to just take this as like a time trial here, especially if your teammates are around to protect you. And it doesn't look like Morgan State it, or McDaniel is like bagging or anything here. So, and it looks like they're bottom two as well. And with this kind of like pole right here, it's looking really good so far from the end of Morgan State. You see Isaiah is really starting to make an insane lead. And they're once again top two, and it looks like it's a bottom two as well for the end of McDaniel. McDaniel's still trying to like figure some stuff out here, having like their star and a two bottom two in there. But if you just look at this, this looks like a potential like top three situation. Okay, or like a top two four. Unfortunate right there from Isaiah. But it looks like that might be... There hasn't been a blue shell yet, but it looks like he's going to have to burn the horn. So, unfortunate. If there's, like, potential for triple reds over there in second, that could be scary. But there's, it looks like a real close race for a second now. Oh, but, but this is a free run, at least, for Isaiah. And that's at least a guaranteed one for Morgan State. And a very comfortable... That bill is going to make things very interesting, though. As you're going to see what the other placements are. Oh, that's actually interesting. It looks like a 2-3-4 almost from McDaniel. Yeah, 1, 5, 7, 8, 10, 11. No, I have to um, update scores manually so because the bot is dead. So this might take a bit. And that's actually incredibly interesting here. So that actually, despite looking really good for a Morgan State for most of that and how comfortable a run Isaiah was having, that actually is a minus four as Green Terror is going to be opening up with a slight lead here in the first race. Props to um, whatever happened at the end of lap 3 for the side of McDaniel. Really bringing that back. You saw the dodges happening. You saw the bill really come up. And that's been really good for them. Now, I know Morgan State really likes running Bowser's Castle. So I'm not surprised to see it coming out for them immediately. Here, So this could be a really good chance for Isaiah to just have another chance to run. But having 2-3-4 for McDaniel could make things very interesting here. Offs to take the middle, second to the left box, and has to get the coin right here. If there's a red, that could be very scary for Zay. But then you see Sambert still right on his tail now, too. Upton goes up, not able to get the trick there, sadly, because the ramp can be stupid. But it looks like there, looks like Morgan State is in a 1-3 situation here, too. Zay going for the right side here. And yeah, the, interesting here, he's going to off the trail, which makes sense, considering Sambert is in second place here, trying to, like prevent him from like shrooming up here i wonder if nitro has anything here gotta trap the double yep gotta let the trap the double as well and sambert's still second but it looks like the msu is starting to catch up in the top spots as well once again finding a trail is zay just trying to figure something out and then an early blue shell comes and i didn't realize it was already 30 seconds as the blue shell is gonna come up early not gonna have any defense right here he's gonna have to take it but on the bright side two three see obsidia and nitro both from the end of morgan state actually that's a morgan state top four right here this is looking very comfortable for morgan state in this situation obsidian probably has to get rid of that trail though just to make sure they don't end up tking but a shroom in first could be massive right here in case of a second blue shell you look over on the right side of the screen and on the map and you see a lot of daisies up in front it looks like a top three at maybe top four at this point actually for morgan state this is a very comfortable situation for them and they can just keep protecting this massive run right now zay gonna opt to oh he's gonna burn the shroom here i wonder if there's a horn in play from one of the other players who are also running maybe we're gonna see isaiah trying to cycle as well you see here trying to avoid those lasers gonna get that trick and just keep going and you see it's a, still a top four for morgan state and they are just dominating this race right now and, and maybe they're holding blue as well this is a free run i wonder if there's a potential shock situation on the end for mcdaniel here you see a lot of people in dodge from mcdaniel but no shock comes out 
unfortunate because there's still a top four for an end of Morgan State. And Zay is just going to keep going, going to cycle it once again and trap that left double. And he has a horn just in case now. And I don't... Th oh, but the shot does come out and the one person does dodge at least from the end of... McDaniel, and I think they're going to be able to keep getting some more coming to play. You see the Luigi coming up. You see the White Yoshi coming up as well. This could be at least a 2-3 from the end of McDaniel. And the blue is going to come out. Zay is going to once again, though, get that first place. And that's impressive as heck. Going to see. And it's a 1-3-4-7-9-11. That should be a, that's a definite winning race for... um. Morgan State, I would think. Um, 134, maybe. Oh, yeah, hold on. Yep, that's a plus 10 for, um, Moravian. Uh, Moravian, I mean, for Morgan State right there. So, really good there. Really good stuff from them so far. MSU is going to be at. Got to add totals. Duh. 85. Meanwhile, Green Terror, not far behind though, with uh, 79, I think that is. Yep, 79. And it's an overall, it's a plus 6 for the end of. For the end of Morgan State, and we are going London Loop. Not a typical course you will see very often anymore, and especially at lower levels, because you really don't see it in 150. So I'm interested to see what we have here. This, I I look at this as like a drafter almost, maybe even close to a race. I don't really see London as a runner just because of all the insane off-road cuts, both early in the race and like later down the line. But Zay is just running everything so far. Already on pace for 180 still. Having that 30 points is insane. Incredible run so far. And you see, oh, the green, though, is going to take out one of the players from McDaniel. And it, that is unfortunate because that was a 2-3 situation. And a lot of people cutting up ahead. But once again, we're at least in a top 2-4 situation, I think, for Morgan State. Going to opt to take the right double. Going to trap that as well. Going to trail here to keep red that red. But now it's the top 2 comfortably for Morgan State, at least. What are what we're gonna see here? You see, it's a top two, yeah, top two four still. Sambert's the only one in third. Gonna draft up. Zay is gonna have a chance to just keep running here. Probably gonna throw his red forward and like start cycling for horn. You see, you heard a horn was in play as well. So this could be interesting. Yeah, it's a top two still. Oh, blue shell is out. I wonder what's gonna happen here. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, that's a call out right there. Having Zay back out for City to take it. And just knowing that um Zay is such a strong runner made that a really interesting call. And I guess it's going to work out though. Because Zay now is in first. Sambert is in second. And you see a lot of the daisies are still racking their way up. Making their way up in the fronts as well. And I think it's like a bottom two, bottom three situation for the end of McDaniel. So this is a comfortable thing right now if you are Morgan State. But I think once again, actually, we're actually in a, maybe in a... It's hard to tell. But actually, I think Morgan State now is in a top two-ish situation right here. Maybe top three at the moment, actually no, that white Yoshi from McDaniel is going to be making their way up at least a little bit more. This cut up ahead is going to be massive. I wonder if there's a potential shock in play. That green is not going to connect. And you see, they, oh, the Yoshis are starting to catch up for McDaniel here. If there's a cut kind of happen, it would be happening soon. But it doesn't look like there's going to be anything to cut up. And I think... This should be... Oh, the blue shell comes out. And it's or, and that's a blue shell. That's, that's enough time for that to be uh, ending his race right here. If he pulls hard, not going to be able to pull it though. No shroomers. Anything to snipe himself off either. Going to look to immediately trail. Going to look behind a top four boss. Oh, has shrooms. Oh, and he drops the green in the process. So that's going to be an unfortunate ending right there for that race. But I think that's at least a 2-3 for the end of Morgan State. Which they should be happy with, honestly. Yeah, 2-3, 8-9. Oh, 2 3 8 9, 11, 12. That look, that should be um, a win, I think, for McDaniel there. That's a very strong response for them. Very good response indeed. As it's a minus 14, and a, it's a 14 positive for McDaniel. 
Gonna once again, we got another lead switch. That is crazy. One, oh, okay. Everyone's going Boo Lake. When Boo Lake is considered to be like a really good runner, I'm surprised to see everyone pick it here just because of that. For McDaniel, yes, I actually I agree. But I'm surprised that Morgan State is also opting for it though. 127. Maple, I think, works better for Morgan State, if I'm being quite honest. I don't know if they were the ones to pick it exactly, but I think it makes a lot more sense for them here. As right now, it's a minus 8, meaning that McDaniel is up. Yeah, I like this better, actually, for Morgan State. Having the potential way to just like, draft up here. Instead of just letting it be a free run. Or it's just going to take first. <laughs> That's cool too. Going to take the tight line here. Oh, going to let them like take top two. And now McDaniel's got a chance to really show what they got here. In a top two situation. You see the immediate trail from top four boss as well. Oh, Knights are taking the double from Zay. Bit of a miscommunication there. And not having any items, it looks like. Oh, the horn! Are we going to see an aggressive horn play right now from Nitro? I don't know if that's the call out here, but it could be an interesting option if they go for it. So right now it's 1-4 from the end of Green Terror, but at the 2-3 for the end of Morgan State. And oh, it was, was a 2-3-4, but McDaniel's starting to work their way up here. But top 4 box really just has a lot going for him right now. And you see that they're just able to pull up. Oh, but that's Shroom. We might be seeing the Shroom cut here. Yeah, we are going to be seeing Zay take the Shroom cut. And then it's going to at least cut into the lead a little bit. But that trail from top four boss is going to keep them going. But you see all the daisies still. It looks like there's a lot of daisies up and top. Which is going to make things potentially interesting here. Oh, misses the alignment right there. And now it's a really scary situation. Yeah, instant trail is a good call right here for Zay. Who's now able to take first place. It's a 1-3 situation. That green is going to not hit its mark here. But, ooh, top four boss has a horn in second. Not able to provide immediate threat to at least Zay. But might do a ton of damage to the people in 3-4. Gotta start cycling for a horn. It looks like knowing that um, boss doesn't have anything here. Gonna drop on the right... Doesn't drop. Oh, but that other Nana on that right side. Forgot, completely forgot about that. It's a 1-3 at least for... Morgan State, which could bode well for now, but that green shell is going to connect, and top four boss is going to be able to take the lead once again. It's a 2 3 4, though, at least from the end of Morgan State, but oh, the right, oh, right before the cannon, and that's probably going to be the end of Zay's race. But you see that it's like a 10 11 from the end of Green Terror, which could be, yeah, McDaniel's got a lot of bots here. This could be very bad here, and I wonder what's going to happen. You're going to see a potential pull if it's a, not going to pull a blue or anything, but hey. Senpai's gonna maybe look the trail here. Oh, that fire! Good call out right there, but the red is going to find its mark onto Zay. And it's close, but if you look over on the minimap, Zay's teammates are starting to work their way up, and I think they are gonna be able to take at least take number one. It's close. It's very close right now, but I think it's gonna be at least a 1-3 if this holds for the end of McDaniel. That could for the end of Morgan State, and this could even be a top two. Two for them. This could be very scary. And now the my now, stream is going to buffer, so this is going to be rough, but it's close. That last is going to hurt a bit, but overall, it's a 1, 2, 4, 9, 10, 12. It's exactly what you want to see there. That's a small positive, I want to say, for... I want to say it's a small positive for um, Morgan State. Yeah, it's a plus six for Morgan State, so we are going from a minus eight to a minus two, and this is very close. 163 to 165. Close indeed. Okay, every, these teams just have the exact same mind. I don't know what this is, but <laughs> okay. Knowing that your top... You're like one top two four. This makes sense a lot for Morgan State. McDaniel, I guess, just has the exact same brain because I would not be picking this here. I would probably go for something of a drafter or at least a 
some type of like maybe even a reset here knowing that or something yeah probably a drafter or some maybe mid spot maybe like a twisted mansion or something like that but instead we got sunshine airport once again yeah the We're going to see a lot of people just trying to make their way back up. Now, I know that this is a very good runner for the end of Morgan State. So, I am wouldn't be surprised to see them do well here. You see Top 4 Boss once again, like, really making their way up there. That banana isn't going to confine its mark, though. But, uh, once again, it's a 2-3 now for Morgan State. But, Top 4 Boss over in 1. Really doing good stuff for McDaniel right here. Gonna opt to take that double. Makes sense. Going to get a single red here. Gonna throw one up. Get rid of... Oh, no defense. Around this. And the top four boss, it looks like. But still gonna be able to hold on to that lead. And yeah, having that trail is going to make things potentially interesting here. As top four boss is basically surrounded just by a ton of players on Morgan State. It's a close war so far. Oh, that bomb could have done wonders. It doesn't look like it connects, though. This is going to be rough, though. The green is going to make its mark. Zay finds the play and is going to be able to connect. And that's going to keep a lead. And this is a really good situation from the end of Morgan State. Zay going to probably look to start cycling for a horn at some point, I think. Um, finding that defense. Because it looks like um, Morgan State has like 1-3. Which is a slight positive. But they do have a couple bots as well. It's a very close thing. And you see Samber, I think, has fallen all the way back right now. And yeah, there's a few players in the back right there for both sides. And the, it's a very interesting situation here. It's a 1-3 now from the end of Morgan State. We're going to look to potentially see some cycling here. I don't know if they have anything in second. They do have a red. That is big. But, oh, the red skips! That is unfortunate right there if that was the top four bosses. And now it's a top two for Morgan State. And it's a top, it's like a top two, four, five, it may be. Okay, maybe not that, but at least the top two, six, I think. The bomb is going to be potentially very scary as well. Yeah, this is close. And the blue shell comes out late. Top oh my god, top two, four, five, six, ten. That's a massive win. That's an absolutely massive win for them. And that's exactly what you wanted to see from Morgan State, knowing that there's that sort of so comfortable on that runner. So, it doesn't surprise me at all to see them just play as well as they did. Right there. Because now, that's a plus 28. Making the lead... Or that's a plus 26. Making it so it's um 217 for Morgan State. Yep, I expected to see the runner, the Mount Wario from Morgan State. Oh, that's an unfortunate repick. I just saw that too. <laughs> And you expect to see the bagger come out from McDaniel. On the bright side, we're not going to be seeing a penalty yet. 193. Yeah, that's a plus 24 now. Lead 4. We're going to stay as we go into MW. Another good runner. I think um this is a very good... I think Morgan State likes this. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they like this one. Especially with these spots. Very comfortable for Morgan State. Gonna opt to take those three coins, yep. And you can see a couple of drafts from their players as well. Top 4 boss makes their way up into second, so... Gonna be able to just work this out. Misses the draft. They're not gonna be... It's just gonna be holding the banana tight. Gonna look to take this cut here, of course. Doesn't trap... Oh, does trap double here. Gonna look to take the lower path here. Yep, the water's faster here if you wasn't, weren't aware of that. Top 4 boss apparently knows how to play this track very well, as, though, because now they're in first trailing that red. And the pack is very close right now. I really wouldn't say either team has like a massive advantage. And this trail is a very scary situation because now I don't. Oh my god, no defense from 
anyone on Morgan State, but they're all up here with top four boss. That's going to be a red that comes at Isaiah, though. But it does look like Morgan State is mostly up here, so this could be going very well for them here. Gonna opt to go around instead of taking Nisk. Gonna look to try and get a double here, I think. Yep. And it looks, if you look at the map, it does look like Morgan State is mostly all up there. With the exception of, I think, maybe top two. I think top two actually is in the favor of... Yeah, top two is um McDaniel, and then 3-4 is Morgan State. Kovalone and top four boss are all in tops. But that plant is going to come out. It's going to... The blue shell is going to connect, though. And you don't want to see a team kill right here. And this could be disastrous, but that's good. Oh, and there's a bomb in play as well. From top four boss, you can potentially see the bomb up. You see the green. Oh, but the bomb also connects. And what a play from McDaniel. And this could be securing them a top two by putting that bomb on the glider. And now it's coming down. Oh, but the back thread. What an unfortunate situation right here. But I think, but that's looking very good for McDaniel, at least. Three, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Eight, eight, nine, eight, ten. Yeah, the bottom two is gonna hurt a bit, but hey, it's a plus eight for McDaniel, so we love to see that. Really, just taking it back and like going into the second half, it's only up sixteen, which is insane. Two fifty four. Morgan State is at two fifty four now. McDaniel is going to be 16 points behind, 238. Interesting picks from both teams, if I'm being quite honest. Yeah, um, very interesting picks from both teams here. Now, typically, you don't see teams opt to pick a bagger when they have tops. They have top two, but I guess they're trying to prioritize bottom two here, which, hey, res mad respect if that's the case here, honestly, going for a reset at this point. Now, McDaniel is only down 16, and it's really still anyone's race, if I'm being quite honest. Gonna see some bagging action for the first time, I think, today. But not from Zay. Zay's gonna run. And you see, like, two baggers from both teams, at least two baggers from the end of Morgan State, and Sambert's going to just keep running here. Ooh, triple Nana in second. You gotta see Insta Trail. Oh, that could result in almost a TK maybe. And not gonna be able to find things. Sambert's gonna look to get that trail. Good trail from Sambert right there. But yeah, mostly Morgan State up in tops and a lot of mids actually for McDaniel. That TK from Ghost on. Oh no, Ghost. That was a good play actually from Ghost to get that player out from McDaniel. So McDaniel is tops. Gonna look up the bag as Brand bagging this high up. Yeah. Oh, the Busho does come out. Oh my gosh. So big. Morgan State has a lot of bagging potential here with one of their daisies. Two of their daisies back there having a lot of control. And if they're gonna have shock, it's gonna be from the Morgan State end, probably. Oh, this could be scary. Gonna off to take cut. Zay is going to be. Oh, it's a top two for Morgan State. Busho comes. It's gonna be very solid. And if they're holding it in the back. That's even better. But there's a very high chance of shock happening on this course. Knowing that it's MC3, knowing of how good of a bagger it is. So, really, can see. Oh, there's a shock. We do see one dodge in Bill. And then a couple people up coming up. And the boo shell is going to be big. Are we going to see them red out? Not going to see the red out. And now, oh, but the red's going to take away defense as well. And he's not going to be able to save the shroom for the massive cut. This is big for McDaniel. They have shrooms to keep forward. Oh, that's going to be big, actually. That's a top two, at least, for McDaniel. That just could be a potential top two, four, five. And then maybe a top three. Top four, maybe? That's cut, that shroom cutting is going to be massive, though, at least for Morgan State. Because I think that was a top two, four, five. For the end of McDaniel. Big result for McDaniel. 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12.
Once again, cutting into that lead, yeah. It's another minus eight, so yeah, really chipping away at the lead here. Here on race seven. So Morgan State at 291. Snowland, like the pick. I wonder what kind of... Oh, Mute City, like that pick as well for McDaniel. Need, knowing they need a runner here. 283. This is a very close war. This is an insanely close war. And like, ooh, the Koopa K pick also. And we're going to see some bagging once again. So yeah, going into race 8... It's close. It's very close, if we're being honest. So yeah, Snow Lane's a traditional bagger here. That big cut in lap at the start of the lap is so powerful. Having shrooms to make that cut on lap three, so big. And then you have all those shroom spots also towards the end in that off-road. You guys see some potential bagging here, but not really a lot, actually. And it looks like Morgan State has kind of opted to use this as a, as a drafter, which is not the most common selection you see. Top or boss is going to have to throw the red back, though. And it's a top two now for the end of McDaniel. Top three, four now from the side of... Ooh, looks like mostly mids from the side of Morgan State. Going to draft up here is a... And you're just trying to look, you have good spacing out there. And you have the Rang in three that th threatens so much with that banana snipe. Whoa! Getting that onto Obsidia. That's an insane pull right here. If they can pull no shrews, but triple greens can be potentially scary. If you're not seeing, oh, you do see a couple people take, trying to make that cut. And then, yeah, a couple people indeed have made that cut. But it's a top two still for Green Terror. But now you see uh, Morgan State really trying to make their way up here. And make things scary. Oh, got to take away the trail but Sampert has another one the rank isn't going to connect and that red if that red does get out of city oh it doesn't connect so Sampert has no defense here and the blue shell is going to come out as well very scary situation and there's a chance for a cut now oh and now this is a free chance to run i don't think we'll have another blue shell oh sam oh not gonna take the cut there interesting call out for there but you do see a couple people try and take the cut and it, it works out indeed it's a top two, top three for the end of Morgan State, which is a very good, very comfortable for them. And I don't, don't know if a shock is in play, but it would have to be er a bit earlier, I think. But this looks like a potential very good race for Morgan State. I think with that banana, that could have been almost a top four. Whoa, that, that could be a top four, top five. <laughs> Maybe I lagged a bit at the end, but we'll see exactly the results. Top three, six, nine, ten powerful response from Morgan State. And that's a plus 20 to really make that lead better, to really give them some comfort. Keep putting them at a 342. Three forty two and for Morgan State three fourteen for McDaniel and it's a plus twenty eight overall. Oh MC you don't see MC a lot anymore. You really haven't seen MC a lot ever since like Since like MC and three is a big bagger, but hey, got to be safe. Okay, hopefully, okay, yeah. CMKL stream starting soon. I had a feeling. Hopefully that these races go quick. Then hopefully the last GP just flies by. Want to give them the credit they deserve here. We just this is our third straight bagger in a row. Are we gonna see a ton of bagging? Who knows at this point. They opt in the run once again, and there's two baggers, one from each team in the back right here. But you see Morgan State opting to go with a formation that really prioritizes a lot of top spots here. So, ooh, potentially big here. It's a top two at least for 
Morgan State, and then top four boss, I think it was, is in third for McDaniel. Yep. Ooh, actually, Green Terror now has 2 3 4. Interesting pop. Interesting here, positioning wise. But there's a lot of item control now in the favor of Morgan State. Not going to have anything defensive. Oh, you see those greens come up. Not going to trail here. Oh, scary position. But it does look like Cobalone from McDaniel is going to cut up ahead. The red shell is going to come up. Not it doesn't look like it's going to connect. But it is close. So the blooper is going to make things a bit rough here. And you see a few people in dodge for um, Morgan State as well. And they're starting to work their way up. A lot of like... Oh, that fire is a very scary sight. But it's still a 2-3 from the end of Morgan State. Oh, that plant is scary indeed here. Gonna try and avoid a team kill on Klob. And it's going to select for that red. That's big for McDaniel here. And I think, oh, oh, some rough items right now from Morgan State. But that's, oh, that blue is going to be very good. Because I think it's going to hit beforehand. Oh, what a rough, not going to be, going to get a team kill there. But it does, it's going to give Morgan State the one, it looks like. Gonna see some items pull up, and it looks like at least a 1-4, maybe, here? Yeah, it looks like at least a 1-4, four, four and I think maybe a bottom 3. 1-4-6-8-10-11. Even race. Fun. Yeah, 1-4-6-8-10-11. 383. Cloud Top, interesting runner here. I think it makes sense. Would have maybe went for a bit of more of a safer solo one, but I do think that having like being able to prioritize your runner is impressive here. Three five. I would have picked Royal actually for uh, Morgan State if I was captaining, so because I see that as a typical um, solo one option. But hey, it's working out for them. Three aces to go, and it's coming close. Thank you Bannable Jackson for the follow, by the way. Cloud Top Cruise. We're in the last three races, and it's a plus twenty eight for Morgan State. It could still come down to the wire here. This is a potentially a good course for Morgan State. Obviously, they're picking it with some confidence if they're having it this late in the game. And you have a runner who's there. It's a one four, I realize. So that's a bit of a dud on my end. Before boss still gonna be in top and having that shroom is gonna be impressed needed as well. Oh, but Morgan State able to take them out. And now Isaiah's in first with a shroom on a course that is really strong in top spots. Yeah, you see this just a lot of running potential here. You know that cloud top is it's really good for this, having all those boost panels. Not a crazy amount of shortcuts aside from this one green leaf up ahead, which you can take without a shroom. So, and without the shock really just destroying people on glider, this is a really good course for Morgan State. And Morgan State, I think, is top three. You've got to be really trying to pull for blue shell at this point if you're McDaniel, because otherwise this is a very comfortable runner here. Yep, there's the blue shell coming out. I think it's going to hit him right before cannon, so... Oh, he's going to take it in cannon. Okay, well, he's going to be able to outrun it a bit, so he's at least going to get a landing, which is good for McDaniel. But it's now top four boss, he's going to be able to get one, but having that red in hand, very good for a play. Because now it's like a top two, maybe top two four. For um, Morgan State. Yeah, Morgan State's almost all up here. Which is very comfortable. Ronin is now in first, trailing that Nana. Now it's going to drop the Nana, but it's a top three at minimum for Morgan State. So this is very comfortable here. Good plays so far for Morgan State. This They're very, looking pretty here. Even though they have that last 
having a top three on a course like this, it's very powerful. Especially with Shock not looking to be in play at all. Gonna opt to go left, left mid over. Yeah, I think this is with this kind of course here. This should be good for uh, McDaniel for Morgan State, as it looks like they are going to be able to get at least the top three. I think. If that's the case, that's a very good result. This laid up. Top three, seven, eight, twelve. And that's a plus sixteen for Morgan State, really adding to this lead. Yeah, with the lead of 44 now, it's really do or die for McDaniel at this point. If McDaniel doesn't get at least a positive 4, it is a win for Morgan State. So, it really comes down to what kind of... If you're Morgan State, what kind of runner are you picking? Snespo is an amazing pick here. Loving that for them. And then you got a bagger... Um, Riverside or Yoshi. Actually, whoa, Yoshi from Morgan State is a shock. Is a shocking pick here. Riverside makes sense for McDaniel as a bagger. So this is a interesting idea here. Having the Yoshi circuit picks, I think, gets to prioritize the bottom spots. But if I guess Morgan State is comfortable running this anyway, having those kind of top presence. So I'm. Um, we'll see what the kind of game plan we have here. Zay's gonna run, obviously. <laughs> and you see, yeah, Morgan State is opting to bag way more than I feel McDaniel is, and I feel like that's actually been kind of in favor of Morgan State. Like, yes, McDaniel's picking a lot of baggers, especially when they're losing, but. Morgan State is really the ones who are making the most out of it. Because if you look at this right now, McDaniel's in a top two situation, which on Yoshi's circuit isn't the most ideal considering how good Bill extension is, considering Shock and Blue being in play. And that was an amazing rang from the end of Zay. And now Zay is going to take first. And with a banana in second from Brand, there's really no threat here. Yep, okay. Zay going to still maintain first no one's gonna be able to take cut a lot of people in the back for morgan state probably looking to pull shock maybe to pull bill or something like that top four boss is gonna be right on isaiah's tail being one of the last hopes for more for mcdaniel here gonna take that nisk gonna take it cleanly as well yeah sitting comfortably here this is looking pretty good for morgan state but if there's a shock in play that will change the deal here you got a person who's suicide bagged all back there for Morgan State. Maybe they're holding blue. If that's the case, that's a scary sight now. Oh, that rang is going to come up. Not going to be able to connect though. Top four boss going to be able to hold the red and keep up this trail. Going to look to but yeah, both teams going to take this. Oh, top four bosses has it though. Oh, shock does come out. Oh, that was probably a Mc that was probably Morgan State shock, actually. Interesting call here because McDaniel is mostly up here. Oh, but there's Bills and Stars coming up for uh, McDaniel. That green is not going to connect, and that's a one for McDaniel. And now we're in a really interesting situation here. That's at least a second. I think it should be enough. I don't know. Oh, wait, two, four, six. 8, 10, 11. Okay, it's possible. It's not likely, but it's possible. So, a top six for McDaniel wins because it's there at a plus, they're down 38. Please be a quick horse. Please be a quick horse. <laughs> so.
Nespo. Okay. Riverside. Oh, wow. They're really pulling for that batter here. 432. 432 for McDaniel. I've seen crazy stuff happen. This would be the greatest comeback, I think, in CMKL history if this happens right now. And we're going to Riverside Park, a traditional. Now seen as a bagger, really short course. Kind of like a... I like to call it an exotic GBA Mario circuit. But yeah, this could be scary. This is a very scary situation for both teams. It really comes down to, like... If there's a crazy shock from McDaniel on lap 3 and like a ton of people dodge, there they win. It's going to come down to like, can they just hold for... How long can they hold here? You see a lot of people running from McDaniel. And you have oh, one person in the back going for shock, I guess, for McDaniel as well. So, with a top two for McDaniel, this is an interesting call out here. Because, yes, you need to get top six if you want to win this. And playing for top six is not easy in the slightest. If it was easy, like we would see some all the time. And there's a blue shell coming already. And that is very bad for McDaniel here. And Zay is going to have that shroom held. Going to look to take cut, I think. Yep, going to look to take cut. Going to trail. Yeah, they were to break red, yes. And they're, they're left right open for a double. Well, and yeah, we're going me going into lap three, and McDaniel is very... Needs something, needs a desperation pull here. They need shock if it's going to happen. You got, oh, the red's one red. That's going to help. If he has a second, this could happen. There's two, three, four. But if... Yeah, even if one person from Morgan State is top six, in top six, they will be able to salvage this. And there's a, quite a bit of that happening here. As despite the 2-3, it does look like I think McDaniel is going to not have enough to win this, sadly. As the stream buffers, which is unfortunate. This is very unfortunate. Network error. Oh boy. Click here to reload player. Did I just lose my net? That'd be horrifying. Not going to be enough though. Top 2-4. It's still a Morgan State win even though the McDaniel did salvage it at the end. Good GG's to both teams though. And yeah. We got a CMKL match coming up right now though. So take. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully there.